Hey, welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy, and today I'm doing a preview of a game that's going to be on Kickstarter called Heroes and Tricks. It's put out by Pencil First Games and Ed Baroff, and I'm excited to take a look. I've actually backed every game by Pencil First on Kickstarter so far, and I haven't been let down yet. So let's see what we get in the box with this one. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about here is the box that you get. It's really cool. They've designed every aspect of this. It just looks cool. And in the final product you're gonna get all of this be able to put in the box and take it with you wherever you go it's got a cool magnetic lid that opens up and then they've got artwork that shows you right here all of the information that you need to know on your turn is going to be seen right there so literally on your turn all you have to do is open the box you know what your choices are you know where to put your cards and then that's it so what cards you get in the box let's look at those so the first thing that you're gonna get is a big stack of play cards and so these all uh, have to do with uh, the suits of the game. The icons and the, the colors of the cards. So there's four different colors and four different icons. And then on the cards, <clears throat> the cards are going to be a color, a number, and an icon. And that's really important as we get in, into that. But that's basically all that these are. It's just a card that has a color, an icon, a suit, and a number on it. And then that's it. Next thing that we've got in the game are gear cards. And so these gear cards come in all kinds <clears throat> and they have special abilities and powers. Obviously this artwork hasn't been finalized, but um, on these uh, gear cards, it's gonna be two ways. You're either gonna play this before the trick starts or you're gonna be playing during the trick. And so that's kind of a cool. So you can just look at your cards and it just says right there, play in trick or play before the trick. And so that's what those are. And then lastly, you're going to have your heroes. And so the heroes are the uh, characters in the game. So it's the, the twist on heroes and tricks. And basically they set for the round what you're trying to do. So like on this one right here, you're trying to get the best orange die card that you have. And so that sets the trick. The person who plays first gets to see that. Everybody else doesn't know what this is. And so they've got all different kinds of uh, different ones. So this is the blue meeple. And so you want the blue meeple. Or this one right here is the red card uh, suit. And so there you go. So that's, I think, I don't know how many of these there are, maybe 16 or something like that. <laughs> so at the beginning of a round, what you're going to do is you're gonna put all the tricks or the heroes in the box, <clears throat> and then the first person that's gonna go is gonna pull out a card, and then they're going to put it in the front. Nobody sees this except for them, and so you can see, just by looking through the window, you know that the goal for this round is to, to get the best match that you can to the red card suit. And so on, on here, it actually tells you how that works out pretty easily, right? It tells you the best possible match that you could have would be the color, the suit, and the highest number. And then it goes down from there. If you don't have the color, the suit, and the highest number, then it goes to the color with the highest number. And then below that is the suit with the highest number. And then below that is just the highest number. So the best possible card that you could play would be a card that matches the color, the suit, and the number. So on your turn, you're simply going to look through the cards that you have, your play cards, and then you're gonna to try to match the best. So uh, this one right here was the red card. And so I've got a six red card. That's the best one that I've got. And so I place it in there and now I close the top and I pass it to the next person. And then they open it up and the only card that they see in our little view right there is just the six card, the six red suit. And so then they look through their cards and they try to put the best one in the box that they can and pass it to the next person. The, the catch is, is that you don't know what the trick really is, right? All that you know is what the person before you put in. So the question is, is it really red? Is it really a card suit? What, what, what's the deal here? And so you're trying to have to guess on your turn and figure out what that's going to be because maybe, maybe you think that it's, uh, I don't know, I'm looking for another card here that I could play. Maybe you decide it's really the red and maybe they didn't have the, the thing. So you play the red eight uh, um, poker chip. And so then the next person opens up and they see the red poker chip instead of the red card. And so it's kind of like that. It goes back and forth. Everybody takes a turn putting a card into the box 
And then at the end of the round, somebody takes the cards out and they see who matches in that order from the best to the, the worst possible uh, connection. And, uh, okay, so how does it change? Where's the flavor in the game? It comes through all of these cards, these trick cards or these gear cards, I'm sorry. So like I said, some of these you get to play uh, in the trick. So this says, when trick is revealed, exchange one of the cards with one from an opponent's hand, their choice. Um, and so you get to exchange a card with your opponent. This one says, your card counts as both suits of its color. So that's a really cool one. I really like that one. So the way that you use these cards is <clears throat> before you place your card in there, you take your uh, gear card and you place it behind it. So the people will not really know, unless I guess they're watching you like a hawk, to know whether or not you put two cards in there. But when they open it up, they're just going to see that front card. So they have no idea what card you put behind that. And so then at the end of the game, you kind of go through, and or the end of the round, you go through and look at all the play cards and the gear cards, and then act out their uh, abilities. <clears throat> the only other cards that you can have, like I said, are the ones that say play before the trick, like this one right here, Seer's Amulet. Uh, the Seer's Amulet, play before trick, you may look at the hero for this trick. So that's really cool. So on your turn, you play it before, even though you're not the first player, you could go through and you know that this time the best possible card would be the red card suit. And so you could play accordingly to that, even though you didn't normally should know that information. So a couple things if you're going to consider backing this game. Number one, the box aspect is crazy cool. The fact that you can drop your card in, shut it, and then pass it to somebody anywhere is amazing. So you could be driving down the road, throw this over your shoulder, and the guy behind you take his turn, and you just keep playing the game out. So it's a lot of fun. It's easy to take with you wherever you're going to go. I believe Ed said that they're going to package this whole thing. So once you get it out of the package, you put it all in the box, and then you can take this thing with you anywhere. It's such a cool idea. And the box aspect is just nice. They did a great job with all of the artwork. As always, uh, the components, the quality. When you get this in the mail, I think that you're going to be really happy with what you get. So there you go. Go check it out on Kickstarter and see if this is something that you like to back.